Hey friends, Mark Vinciguerra. Listen, today we're gonna to talk about Kaler Trimlows for guitars. And what do you do when you're changing gauges of strings, say going from nines to tens or tens to nines or any of the above. And uh, getting that proper tension and getting the tremolo setting out without pulling your hair out. We're gonna show you how to do it real fast and easy and get her done quick, all right? Hey guys, Mark Vinzegar, good morning. We're gonna talk about Kaler guitar tremolos this morning. I gotta love hate with these guys. Um, I just love to hate them. Anyway, um, here we go. This, this, this is about spring tension. Doesn't seem to be a whole butt ton of information out there, so I'm gonna show you the easy way. They got a really cool feature on the Kalers, um, which is this lock right here. Um, actually, in the back of the block, you can see that there's a um, an indent or a hole or a slot or whatever you want to call it. And this Allen has a kind of a, a rounded tip on it, so it's supposed to go in there. So basically, right now, we're rested with 10s on it, 10 through 46. And it's basically in tune. It's, you know, ish. So would they recommend when you change strings that you go ahead and pull the trim bar up and lock the block. So now it's a fixed bridge. All right, and now of course, that brings that A to a, uh, like a B. Wow, it's crazy. Anyway, um, so basically what we're trying to do is tune to this position, all right? So fixed bridge, now let's tune the guitar. Okay, so that's in tune in this position. So let's do this. Let me take a little bit of tension off the bar. Okay, well, it doesn't go far. Um, let me get that so it doesn't fall out. But it's free to move about the cabin. So basically what I want to do is my A is a G sharp. The center of this guy is a two millimeter. And righty tighty puts more tension on the springs. So, oh, we're almost there now. Hang on. I'm tuning it to a tuner that you can't see. It's just out of picture. Just a little headstock tuner right here. And basically I'm trying to get, I've got it to just a little bit sharp of an A. Sorry. So I'm tuning the guitar with spring tension at this point. So the A's in tune. E's just a little flat. B, G's a little flat. B's a little flat. E's right on. So, so where's this guy at? Let's just see. Oh, look at that. Goes right in. And everything seems a little sharp there. Okay, so it just means that um, the spring tension was resting on the pin. No big deal. I'm gonna tune it back to pitch in the pin resting position where there's very little tension on it right now. Uh, I need to take that out. That's a heavy screwdriver. Sorry. Okay, they're all in the green. Okay, we're clear of the bar. And it's a little flat on the A. A little flat. It's like three bars flat across the whole thing. Again, I'm watching the tuner. Now it's green. Take that out. Okay, it's basically in tune and you can run that in. So if you break a string on stage, you can level that tremolo bar out and 
you can put the lock engaged and it'll be in tune, basically. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and lock the, the lock down up top here at the nut. And everything goes just a little wonky when you do that. These, these tend to go sharp. They don't have a string retainer on the other side of the nut. So that's it. And if we want to lock it in, No tremolo. See, I gotta stop that. You're supposed to take the bar out when you do that. But that's it, kids. <clears throat> so now that I've taught you how to do that, let me give you my rant. The first thing when I saved up my hard-earned 200 and man, $225 or 235 bucks, I can't remember. It was a 1974 Gibson Flying V. Yes, I did it, and I hated myself for it. I still hate myself for it, so no hate mail, please. Uh, live and learn. I bought the wraparound stud version of this, not the flat mount, but I still had to route a big old, it's not as big as a uh, Floyd Rose, but I had to route the swimming pool in here to accommodate the cam. The first thing I noticed when I put the thing on is that spongy sound from these rollers. And I, that tunematic has always had a, you know, on a Gibson, has many, many faults and many weaknesses. But the one thing it does do extremely well is that it has a really good um, pitch center. And it doesn't, it's not spongy or boingy or anything like that. These guys, to me, I lost all my sustain that I was used to because there's no brake angle back here at all really and that um that roller cam is just too wide of a surface to get a good note off that's my first of many rants but that's the biggest one um i really floyd rose has that that part is on point because they are very good as far as a nice focused pitch center um it just does. It does it good. So anyway, that's my uh, that's my adjustability. Lock the tremolo block. They recommend that when you change strings anyway on these. But if you go ahead and tune it while it's locked, unlock it, and then tune it with a two millimeter in the spring tension, you could change strings to nines or eights or 11s for that matter. I think it'll go to 11s. Uh, not sure how much more tension it has on there. <clears throat> but that's how you do it. Make it easy, easy, cheesy. And then once you get it in tune, if you pull this pin out and it goes flat, increase the spring tension and tune the A string on the tuner until it's right. And then you're basically balanced. Okay, easy, cheesy. No more of the balancing act. All right, peace. Oh,